happy vlogmas day one everybody hello i am doing vlogmas it's gonna be like i've tried to do vlogmas before failed miserably hopefully i can get through all 25 days this time um but uh yeah this is like my first like true vlogmas and um the videos are gonna be shorter i'm gonna make things realistic for me to be able to do so like normally my vlogs are like anywhere from 20 to like 30 ish minutes uh these are gonna be about 10 to 12 minutes and just um holiday season stuff life stuff refraining from the topic of the postgrad diaries and more so just my life as it is right now and then i will pick up with the postgrad diaries in the new year so hello and welcome to vlogmas i am currently headed into a cafe a new cafe that i've never tried before to do some work and just have just not be inside all day i guess so yeah i have a few different things to do that i need to like put together on a to-do list so let's go in let's get a little tea and a pastry and enjoy working at this cafe they close in four hours so i'm gonna stay there until it closes and then i'm gonna go to the gym and then i'm going to go to my boyfriend's and make a yummy dinner and that's what the day that is ahead of us is going to be also don't know if i updated you guys but i did get my second low piercing i've wanted it since my freshman year of college and i finally got it um and so i'm like really really just like taking care of it waiting for it to heal because i do want to switch out the jewelry so bad you guys know i'm a gold girly and i brought my own jewelry to get it pierced but then the piercers were like no we don't do that here you have to pick our jewelry so we can make sure it's like all the stuff and i was like okay but honestly it's just a little cubic zirconia stud and i really like it but all right let's go into the cafe and let's have a good day It's cold outside <laughs> like my nose is like a little red um, and my lips are so chapped oh my gosh thank god I have my handy dandy summer Fridays am I right um, but so I said I was gonna stay till 6 it's 552 right or 452 right now and I ended up leaving a few minutes early because inside the assignment said that they're closing at 530 for something that they were doing or whatever so I'm just gonna head back and I wanted to go to the gym because one of my boxing gym locations was actually like on my way here and then I realized I don't have my boxing gloves and I also realized that I do not have water like a water bottle so I was like you know what <sighs> burnt toast theory maybe it's just time for me to go back so that's what I'm doing right now I'm driving and vlogging, which I shouldn't do. Also, my outfit today is absolutely crazy. It's all from Prince Polly, but I'm wearing like Prince Polly sweats, this blue Prince Polly sweatshirt, and this like lavender and tan jacket. It just does not go at all, which I think is hilarious, but it just is what it is, so. It is currently 12.51 p.m., which I am not proud to say. I am just getting up and out. I have not done anything today other than make breakfast and sleep. I did not sleep at all last night. Um, I think it was a mixture of me having like two teas because I had a matcha latte here for breakfast and then I had the Earl Grey lavender tea, which was so good. And I did work out, so I thought it would balance itself out. I had an amazing workout yesterday, you guys. And I'm gonna do the same workout like Tuesdays and Thursdays. But uh, yeah, I really been enjoying working out recently and it's super fun to work out with my boyfriend too um so yeah i worked out i forgot to pick up the vlog here it's been a while since i vlogged so i'm like happy i'm doing this to like get back into the swing of it but my boyfriend and i did make a amazing dinner we had these gorgeous ribeyes we had these gorgeous seasoned potatoes and we also had some steamed broccoli it was a nice balanced meal it was amazing and i was thinking i was gonna have dessert after but i just felt so satisfied from that that i was just like good to go I fell asleep at like 10 30 and then i woke up around midnight um and then i could not fall back asleep i was literally just like trying to sleep trying to sleep trying to sleep and i just couldn't and so then i woke up i was just like dilly-dallying on my phone trying to just like I read a little bit trying to get myself to 
feel sleepy and it just didn't work. Um, so then uh, an hour before my boyfriend's alarm went off, I fell asleep. So I slept for like two hours, two and a half hours. And I also just wasn't feeling good throughout the night last night for some reason. Um, and so after like making breakfast this morning, drinking some water, I just went back to sleep honestly. And now I feel fine. I don't know what was going on. Um, but I am headed to another cafe today. I'm all ready to go. I've got my tote bag with all my stuff in it. And um, yeah. Oh, I did want to tell you guys I have been using a new fragrance combination. Let me show you. I had heard about this on TikTok and got both of them from Marshalls. I got this Sand and Fog Eau de Parfum oil set. There was one in Santal Cardamom. I gave that one to my boyfriend. And then there was one in a little more of like a feminine scent um, that I haven't started using yet. But this is the one that's like in my rotation right now. It's this vanilla musk and I love it so much. Um, it really does last like all day. I just kind of like put it around my chest and my neck and it lasts it like rubs off onto my clothes and my clothes smell so amazing and then i like to layer it with this mimic fragrance and i had been seeing these mimic fragrance on tiktok for so so long but i had never seen them people say they find them at tg Maxx and marshall's i found mine at marshall's for 20 dollars, and apparently these fragrances are like pretty pricey um so i got this for a steal and this is the number 79 cherry vanilla wood i also picked up the other number that's like supposed to be a dupe to the sol de janeiro um and it definitely did smell like it it was just a little too like sweet it didn't have a lot of complexity for me but this one literally smells like not even like artificial cherries it smells like real cherries with vanilla and it also is like has an oil concentration so i don't like to really put it on my clothes i put it more so on my skin and it just like stays all day so this is my little fragrance combo that i've been loving so much all right guys let's go explore a new cafe i'm headed into the buckhead area um so yeah should be fun i'm super excited So let me tell you guys about my little cafe rendezvous. Yes, I'm holding my headphones like this because I do not have wired headphones and I do not have a mic with me right now and I am in a loud public place, so bear with me. So I was really excited to check out this cafe. Found it on Yelp in the Buckhead area. I was super, super excited. I get there and one of the Yelp reviews said, free parking. So I was like, okay, this should be a good time. I get there and I have to park in a parking deck where I have to get a parking ticket. And the parking was like $8 an hour. And I was like, mm, don't love that. And then I'm looking for the cafe, cannot find it anywhere. Have to call them, they have to give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to get inside. And then I was just like, okay, hopefully it's worth it, right? Hopefully it's worth it. Had a cute vibe and everything, and I hadn't eaten lunch, so I was like really excited to, you know, get a pastry. That's just like what I like to do when I go to a cafe get a little drink, little pastry, as most people do. I was like, oh, are you guys out of pastries for today? And the barista was like, oh, yeah, I totally forgot to, like, put in the order to get pastries for this week, so we don't have pastries all week. And I was like, okay. So the vibes were cute. The vibes were cute, nice and aesthetic. And um, on the phone, they told me they validated the parking. So I was like, okay, so the parking is free. So they did two hours. I wouldn't say they're longer, but it was fine. I get there at, I think, like, 1.28 p.m. And so that, that was the time on my parking ticket. And... Then I leave exactly like I put in my ticket exactly at 3.28 p.m. Why did it charge me $4 to leave when I was there for the exact two hours? I didn't love that, right? So I don't think I'll be back. It was a cute coffee shop, but it just was too much of a hassle. So that's my review. Okay, party people, I am back. I didn't love the cafe I went to today. It was like the parking situation was weird and like I had to pay for parking and I got my parking validated but I was like leaving the lot like the exact minute that it would have been like the two hour validation limit and I guess because I didn't leave before like one minute before it charged me four dollars for parking and the drink was cool they didn't have any pastries i thought the seating was kind of weird it was kind of like in this like office building sort of deal i just didn't love it um i wouldn't go back but the one that i went to yesterday i really really loved and i think that we are going to go this weekend and there's also like a really nice running trail near that near that area 
and we like to run so we're probably gonna go for a little run but i did do some shopping um for things that i needed and then one thing i didn't need so i always leave my makeup brushes at home and so i figured i'll just leave some makeup brushes here um so i don't have to like always remember to pack them and then when i forget them not having makeup brushes here so i got some new makeup brushes and this is like the first time i've gotten new makeup brushes since like high school so yeah this is exciting i got these eco tools ones and these look really really cool um so i'm excited to use them and then i also got some real techniques both really great brands they were 6.99 each which wasn't too bad for like three really great quality brushes in a set so i'm excited to use those i have not been wearing makeup since i've been here for the week because i haven't had any makeup brushes so glad i got that out of the way and also i got a hair milk by taraji p henson this was only 5.99 and i've been needing like a hair milk i've been using my boyfriend's which is the same one that i use i basically like helped him curate a little hair care routine and he uses pretty much all the same products that i use slash used when my hair was super short several years ago and so yeah i'm really excited to try this out so i don't have to keep using his um and yeah it was 5.99 for taraji p henson's hairline which i think is pretty great and then remember i was telling you guys about the mimic perfume that i've been using that i've been loving the cherry vanilla wood or whatever i was just like walking around and i saw like oh my gosh wait this packaging looks familiar i found a hair and body oil in literally the same exact scent and i'm super excited about it i literally still smell like my fragrances that i put on today and i love it so much so i'm really happy that i have a body oil now too so yeah that's what i got at teacher max it was like 30 bucks and it was just nice to go to the store treat myself to a few things that weren't too expensive so yeah you guys this was vlogmas day one episode one day one of vlogmas and i am actually about to start recording day two so i'm gonna go ahead and sign off um please show some love and support throughout my vlogmas journey it's not going to be easy i'm hoping i can make it through but i'm going to be realistic and prioritize my mental health but i would really really love to make it through all 25 days so like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow wow i'm gonna be saying that a lot i'll see you guys tomorrow i love you so much i'm gonna go ahead and sign off before i go i want to remind you guys to spread kindness and always remember that the less you wander the more you wonder i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys